If you're special, you'll always be noticeable. But in the animal world, this doesn't make you famous, but a target. The question of this video is, would you like to be different? And if so, in what aspect? The most creative ideas will be penned. Based on DNA, every person in the world is 99.99% .99 similar to the person next to them. Only a tiny part, which means 0.01% of our genetics, is special from other people. But this must be taken into account the part of the similarity with our siblings. According to physicist Riccardo Sabatini, if our genetics are printed in a book of 175 large books with 262,000 pages, only 500 pages are our unique characteristics. All the other pages are similar to everyone else. It's also been scientifically proven that humans with chimpanzees have genetic similarities of up to 96%. No matter how different we are from other beings, all living organisms have the same DNA basis based on nitrogen molecules. For example, a large, powerful, and tall elephant has the same nitrogen-based DNA as a small, helpless, color-changing chameleon. What differs these animals is the change in the chromosome order. But during the creation of the DNA, a defect can occur in one of the genes that produces melanin, the pigment that gives color to eyes, skin, and hair. This results in a lack of melanin or very small amounts, and it creates albinism. In America, 1 in 20,000 people can get albinism, while in countries like Zimbabwe, Africa, the chances are much higher, like 1 in 1,000. This genetic mutation occurs in animals, too. In wildlife, the chances of this happening are 1 in 20,000 to 1 in 1 million, and in birds, 1 in 18,000. Animals with this defect are in danger of their lives. They can't hide from predators, their skin is damaged by the sun, and they have very poor vision. One of them is the albino zebra. Very rare as a species, there's very little information about albino zebras. Found mostly in parts of Kenya, these animals were only discovered after 2005. With a combination of white and light brown, these animals have a very small amount of melanin and very poor vision. While living in a dangerous place like savanna, albino zebras are at great risk of predators like lions and crocodiles. That's why they're more endangered than other, and of course the lack of melanin makes them very sensitive to climate change. Albino Alligator It's thought that there are about 200 albino alligators in the world, which until recently have been the target of hunters for their unique skin. These animals have white skin and very poor vision, so they live a very short life. Since he's a predator, he doesn't worry if someone will eat him, but he can't kill so easily because the color makes him noticeable. And the albino alligator can't perform the famous strategy called ambush hunting. Also due to vision, they have difficulty catching the prey. Albino Peacock Distinguished thanks to the long tail and many colors, a peacock can also have albinism. An albino peacock in West Sussex Village has terrified residents who've never seen such a peacock and thought it was a ghost. These animals have many predators but can still be protected from them because albinism sometimes affects the color of the tail but not the strength of the thorns. Albino Lion Imagine the king of the jungle as white. Yes, albino lions exist. While the exact number is not known, it's thought that there are about 130 white lions in the world. Given the fact that albino lions are rarer than white lions, it turns out the albino lions are in a number less than 100. This animal has white skin and sometimes a golden tinge. As long as they live in a pride, these animals are protected by other members of the herd. But they have a short lifespan due to the lack of melanin in the body, which makes them very exposed to the sun. Albino Owl Look at this owl. He knows all of your darkest secrets. Just kidding. An owl's around 1 in 17,000 births can lead to albinism. The lack of melanin affects the skin color and also the color of the eyes. This condition endangers them a lot because they're very noticeable by predators, and also if they're flying, the sun can damage their skin and hurt them seriously. Albino Gorilla the only albino gorilla known in the world is Snowflake. This animal was kept at the Barcelona Zoo from 1966 to 2003. Due to the lack of melanin, this animal had white skin and a pink face. Due to high sun exposure and lack of melanin, Snowflake died of skin cancer. But he lived a long life since he was kept in the zoo. If he lived in the wild, his life would be shorter, unfortunately because of many threats. Albino Snake 
Albinism in these animals is said to be very rare. Some say 1 in 100,000 and some say 1 in 1 million. This type of snake is very rare, especially in the wild. Albino snakes sometimes not only have white color, but also light brown or light yellow. Due to the very visible color, it becomes someone's prey and it also affects their prey to see them quickly and run away from it, leaving them hungry. For these reasons and poor vision, albino snakes do not live long, perhaps a maximum of 12 years in the wild and much longer if kept in captivity. Albino Turtle Researchers say that 1 in 100,000 turtles can become albino. These animals were found very late in mid-2003. Because of the color, they're very endangered by predators, but because they have a strong shell, they're much safer than other animals with albinism. Their life is much shorter than that of an ordinary turtle, somewhere around 20 to 30 years. But if they live in a good environment, then they can live up to 40 years. But unlike other albino animals, turtles are mostly light yellow or even orange in color. Albino deer It's said that albino deer can occur in 1 out of 20,000 births, and some say up to 1 in 100,000 births. There are special laws banning people from killing albino deer, especially in places like Illinois, Iowa, Montana, Tennessee, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And also, there's a general belief that killing an albino deer brings bad luck. These animals face many problems during their life. The color makes them very visible to predators and risk to climate change. And they also have poor vision and sometimes total blindness. It's therefore very rare for an albino deer to reach maturity or old age because a large number die immediately after birth and some after a few months of life. Well, next time, don't try to be different if you are, because you can become a target for hunters. Here are two other videos we've picked for you. Take care. See ya.